Welcome back to The Social Regressive, everybody. As you know, we've been testing a 16-inch 308 rifle. This is the CMMG Resolute. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of firepower in a rather small package and pretty lightweight for an AR-10. Um, so Kedrick, we're gonna be taking you from 200 meters out to 500 meters. We're gonna knock down some steel. And uh, what kind of ammo are we playing with today? Uh, we've got, we're trying out this Deer Season XP by Winchester. All right, and I've done some gel tests on this. Um, so if you wanna see how much damage this does to 20% gel, and that's like deer flesh, you really gotta check it out. This is a phenomenal round. And hopefully it's gonna be precise enough that we can knock down everything out there. Everything that you see here is available for sale, except for the Kedrick. And uh, you can check out all this in my list. Now I do wanna throw out a couple things first. Okay, this is the CMMG Resolute. That is, yeah, that's the uh, the Winchester Deer Season XP. We've been uh, had really good results with um, uh, 350 Legend is in that as well. Um, this is the Falcon Endura. It's a really cool tactical scope. This one is mil mil, and I believe there's an MOA model as well, but it has a lot of that great stuff that I really love for making precise hits at long distance. Um, this is the UTG Overbore Bipod, in case you're wondering about this weird contraption, and this is one that you really need to see the full review on. All right, let's get to work. Oh man, this glass is so good. You ready to go hot? Yep, send All it right, anytime. Right. Ha, ah, sending, and die, chicken. You just touched the tail. Ah. Give it a little bit of a wind lead. Looks like our wind has increased. Just below. Ah, all right. <laughs> take that, sucker. All right, take out that second one. There Done. we go, a nice solid hit. All right. You, All right, you think you're up to a prairie dog? Prairie dog on the right. Okay. That was the wood directly below it. Horizontal oh. was perfect. Ooh. Yeah, I think it was just off the left. Okay, I saw, I saw dirt fly. Hit! Woohoo! All right, let's step it back to 300. All right, which piggy are you going for? The first one to the right of the Throom targets. I see it. Ready? Okay, go for it. All right, die, pig. Hit! Next. Beautiful. <laughs> Hit! Next. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, and there we go. That was our that was our fun there. All right, so you guys that are wondering if you can use an AR-10 <laughs> to take out a whole sample of hogs, there you go. That's 300 yards. How easy was that? that oh, that was that was a blast. Yeah. <laughs> 2.4. 2 2.4. And your windage is going to be essentially zero. It's boiling. Okay. All right. Firing. Beautiful, nice. dead center, bud. That was nice, that felt Sweet good. Sweet hit. Beautiful, nice. dead center, bud. All right, 500 meters. 4.3, you say? 4.3, you're going for that left white one? That is correct. Are you ready and rolling? Yep, All send right. it. Boiling Mirage, zero wind. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was as perfectly centered as you could hope. <laughs> well, good call on the drop and wind. Okay, Trigger Man, what did you think of it? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> felt really good. Um, felt really good when it slapped those targets down too. So okay, 16 inch, you know, AR-10. What was the kick like? Um, not much at all. It was, 
It was not even, I mean, while other business is going on, I didn't even notice the recoil. Yeah, that's, I did a whole video on this, you guys. The muzzle brake that's on here is crazy effective. And that's also why we're doing double hearing protection out here because it is, it's really, really loud. Uh, but it does a great job. And uh, you'll be able to see in some of the past videos how it affects this. It seemed like toward the end, you were actually getting on target a lot easier. It's like the farther the targets got out, the more you were hitting them just squarely in the middle. What was up with that? In all honesty, uh, on the second targets at 300 meters, I realized I may have not been paying attention to the numbers in the reticle, and I was counting tick marks instead of numbers, which there's a mark every half mil. Yes, okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a very high magnification scope, 25X. So when you're looking at the, uh, the reticle in there, you know, it might look like this is one mil radian. No, that's half, <laughs> so. Yeah, so that was user error. I, I looked back on that and thought, I might have been looking at the wrong marks, not paying attention. But uh, once I was paying attention, it seemed like we were more on target right away. Yeah, okay, now talk about the trigger. Um, light, crisp, felt good. Yeah, so as a reminder, this is not the original Resolute trigger. This is uh, the Trigger Tech Diamond AR-10 single stage. This is brand new. And actually, at the time of this filming, it still is not available to the public, so watch for it. If you're looking for a really good AR-10 trigger, this thing is a beast. Just almost no over-travel, no creep at all. Really light. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Um, Again, just beating up on myself a little. I know one thing that I have a bad tendency to do sometimes is I, I flinch as I'm squeezing down on the trigger, but the, the nice, light, smooth trigger there really helped me to not flinch, like I keep trying to teach myself not to, <laughs> but yeah. the, the uh, heavier triggers, uh, I'm worse about it for sure. So I didn't have any problem with this one today. Hey, and at least you got a, a prairie dog thing. Now think about this. Think about a uh, one of these rapid expanding deer rounds hitting a prairie dog at 200 meters. <laughs> <laughs> the pink mist. Yeah. <laughs> We'd be finding guts all the way out to the 300 meter mark. Well, thanks a bunch for watching, you guys. If you have any questions about the Resolute or anything that you see here, put them down in the comments below and we'll chat about it. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.